Blessings, fam, and welcome back to Inspirational Cafe. I'm your girl, Rochelle. Here is where I uplift, I encourage, and I inspire. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to share. And please don't forget to subscribe. Listen, God declares that we must learn, grow, and overcome. God says cultivate your power, that power that God has given to you and I to speak life, to speak life over those unusual circumstances, those challenges that seems like they're going to crush us to our core, those burdens that seems like they're so great that we can't recover. But God declares that he's given us the ability, the power to speak life. In Proverbs 18 and 21, the word of the Lord declares life and death is in the power of the tongue. That means whatever we choose to believe in our hearts and it flows out of our mouths, it shall be manifested because we have the power to change or shift any situation in our lives because life and death is in the power of our tongue. We have the ability to change negative situations into positive. We must believe every word that God declared over our lives. That means we are capable. We are confident and trusting that God's word is true. And God is faithful. So when God declared that we have power to speak life over death, Indeed, we do. I don't know about you, but it took me some time to really believe that I have the power to speak, to change my situations, to change the atmosphere. But that requires faith, unwavering faith, trusting in God totally to believe that, yes, I have the ability to look at a situation. And even though sometimes the situation may occur dire, but I have the ability to change it, to shift it. Because God declares the same power that is at work in him is also at work in you and I. Only if we believe. Only if we trust God enough to believe in every promise that he's made to you and I. We have the ability to shift and change. God has given it to you and I. And he declares that whatever we speak, Whatever we believe, it shall be manifested. God declares it shall be manifested. That means that no matter what we, what we go through, no matter what occurs in our life, we must remain faithful in trusting God, believing in every word that he's spoken and trusting that he is faithful, even when we're faithless. God declares that we must learn, we must grow, and we must overcome. We are given the opportunity to overcome our past and past mistakes every single day. Either we remain stagnant or either we grow, we progress, we learn, we overcome, or either we remain Paralyzed in fear, believing the lies of the enemy, the father of lies, believing every word that he declares over our life. When he declares that we're not enough, that we're not the head. God declares that we must trust and believe in his word. Remain faithful and true, trusting that yes, we've all endured hardship. We've all made terrible mistakes. I don't know about you, but I can affirm. I can affirm to you and declare that yes, we all made mistakes. I've made some huge mistakes that I wish that I can take back. But God declares that even in all of my past mistakes, all that I've gone through, God declares that every day I have an opportunity to overcome to trust him enough to believe that my past mistakes doesn't define my future destiny or God's given purpose for my life. 
And I'm here to encourage someone on today to trust God enough to believe that, yes, you've made past mistakes, but it doesn't define your purpose or your God's given ability to move forward in your purpose. We must trust God enough to believe that, yes, we've been through, but we learn from our mistakes. We grow and we overcome. God says, cultivate your power. Speak life over your future and those future plans. Trusting God enough to believe that you are an overcomer. Because the word of the Lord declares that we're more than conquerors. That means that, yes, we've made past mistakes. We've endured hardship. We've been through some troubling and trying times. But we're more than conquerors. And God declares that if he be for us, who in the world? can be against us. We must move forward, progress into our greater. Trust God enough to cultivate your power. Speak life every single day. Affirm that God is a God that keeps every promise. And even though we've made, we've made some terrible mistakes in our lives, that doesn't mean that we won't progress into our greater, into our purpose, and to who God has called us to be. God says, learn, grow, and overcome. I want to encourage someone on today. Don't remain stagnant in what you used to do or what you've been through. But trust God enough to believe that God is a God that declares that his plans for you are great. His plans are to prosper you, to give you hope and an excellent future. That's Jeremiah 29 and 11. God declares he doesn't want to harm us. So all that we've gone through, all of life issues, all of the challenges, all of the heart, the, the heavy heart that we've endured, all that we've had to endure, the frustrations, all of the many lessons that we've learned is to grow us and for us to overcome and to tell somebody else that yes, I've had to endure. I've had some trying and difficult moments that I've had to face in my life, but I've learned, I've grown and I've overcame. I'm an overcomer. God declares that we're more than conquerors. That means that we can get through all of life issues, all of the many challenges, even though we feel at times that life has beaten us so down that we can't recover. God declares we're more than conquerors. We're overcomers. We're warriors. We will persevere through it all. But we must trust God enough to believe that God didn't bring us this far to leave us just yet. Because God declares that we must speak life even when the situation doesn't look promising. God is indeed our promise keeper. I want to encourage someone on today to learn, grow, and overcome. You are an overcomer. There have been so many situations that we've all had to learn from. We've all grown and we've overcame because we are indeed overcomers. No matter what we go through, God declares he is our burden bearer. He's our heart fixer. He's our mind regulator. He is our prince of peace. He is all of that to us and more. But learn, grow, and overcome. Because we have the power to speak life. We have the power to speak life. I want to encourage you to speak life, to move forward, to progress into your greater. Learn, grow and overcome. I love you all so very much. I am Rochelle. This is Inspirational Cafe. Until next time, be blessed.